Okay, welcome to ETN News. As you know, we're all about safety and the yellow jackets this year. They're not honeybees. They don't get pollen from flowers or anything. They eat meat. And these yellow jackets are overpopulating. I just wanted to show you how to fix a quick trap to catch these because a lot of people's ending up in the hospital because they're allergic to these bees. Now remember, they don't do anything for the pollen or the gardens or anything like that. They eat dead stuff. They're meat eaters. All right, look at the yellow jackets in that trap. And I got a couple more I'll show you too. But I want to show you how to fix this, a quick fix. Now right here, you take this milk jug and you punch holes in it. I used a screwdriver to punch holes in it, as you can see. And then I run, I run a cord or wire down through it, tied a knot in it. That way you got your hanger. This is a party cup for birthdays or something. I just split it up the middle, cut the bottom off twisted it around and there's the hole and then I just take this and I turn a piece of black tape outside outwards so it'll hold it in and that way we just put this in this and twist it and it's there to stay they go right up in that hole and what you do is you put a piece of fish. Fish is the best. Or you can use a piece of hamburger meat, but a piece of fish you put in it. And then when you put this down, the fish will come down to here. The bees feel our air through here. If they can feel a breeze, then they'll go in it. If it's all blocked off and no holes, you won't catch very many because it's blocked off and they know that. They can feel the air, so they think they can get out either hole where they feel the breeze coming through, so they go up in there. Let me lay that down there. You can look at the bees in here. Got one fly. few days and there's a couple flying around in there for just a few days and got that many got those stirred up but anyway you only have to rebate them every I don't know five six days maybe a week or something but we need to catch these bees. A lot of people is allergic to those and, you know, it's just not right. They're taking over and I think they're killing the honeybees also. I think they're going in after their honey where they're overpopulated. But that's yellow jackets. Remember, they don't hurt the, it don't hurt the farms or anything getting rid of those. It really helps them. Okay, now this bee trap has to have a bit close to a thousand eight hundred or a thousand bees in it but they all die overnight you don't got to worry about them being alive the next day once they go in there that day they will die that night you see how many bees that we've caught like i said we're all about safety and this is one of the things that we need to take care of people that's allergic to those bees Okay, and this is another way that we help people. It's, you know, it's not just about earthquakes, bees, things like that. It's chickens. And these chickens, they feed the public. They get free eggs. And we're about to catch back up where we were. We had something to kill quite a few out. And we transferred some over to this cage 
and put the ones that was in this cage over here and they're starting to lay good. And they're young, but they're starting to lay. They lay within six months. And we're gonna build us a place for them to roost. This is their roost. They've been out in the open for ever since spring and they have no roost in the dry. You know, which I couldn't help that. I was trying my best. These here's the babies and, well, they're not babies anymore. But they're starting, the babies, the next set of babies are starting to lay. Right here's where we have to build the roost. Try to get on that here in a little bit. Now we've seen an egg. Yep, yes. there it is. Yep. Let's see if I can show it to you. It's hard to get to right there. We gotta get these chickens transferred. Yeah. It's a, it's a baby egg. But these dudes are gonna have to go over there with the other hens now, because they'll start eating their eggs. And this roof, it, we have tried all summer long to just get a piece of tin donated or a piece of wood to try to build a roof because I don't have it to do. And it's too expensive to go buy. Nobody won't help us do that. <laughs> no, but here's the tin that I came up with. It's full of holes. It's bad. But, you know, it's a few pieces. We have to do with what we got. And these boards, well, I got me a pile of boards. Over here is where I had to take them apart. You know what that is. That's pews out of a church. Now, the thing about it was, is they didn't want the, you know, felt guilty because it was pews, but the pastor, he got to thinking that, well, if they're used for the Lord, they give out free eggs. And instead of setting them in my backyard and letting them rot, then we'll take them to him and let him use them, the boards out of them, because they're still used for the Lord, no matter how they're used. Free eggs for the public to help feed the needy. But I couldn't get no, uh, no tin or nothing like that, but we'll just have to do with what we got. But let me just show you, because people wanted the update on the chickens. Here's the pose I'm putting in, getting ready to put the electric fence around it. I had a donator a couple months ago, donated enough to get the electric fence, but I never did get it fixed. We're gonna have to do that, because these predators. Yeah, we have one predator come in and it dug its way in over there up under that board and dug its way in over here and it killed a hen. We well, killed two hens. And a rooster. And the rooster was uh, so wounded that I had to do it myself. It, it couldn't come out of it. Mm -hmm. It was a pretty black rooster though. Let's see what all we have in here. Any eggs? Uh -huh. These babies are starting to lay. Uh, it's one main hen. Yeah, there's some eggs. Look at that. Here, baby, we have one of them small ones. With the baby eggs. But they're doing good, though, ain't they? Mm-hmm. Look at that. That's the difference between these eggs. I guess you'd have to fry two of those. <laughs> yeah. That's what one of the people said that we was giving them to. Said they just fry them too with those. But they're starting to pick back up. But what we need to talk about, the whole thing about this is, what we need to talk about is what went on. Hold up, girl. You all right? But, when COVID came in and everybody had locked down this and that, then it, it caused a lot of problems. It caused 
communications with people, freedom of speech, all kinds of things in the last four years that we've had to deal with. And it's turning people sour. Uh, neighbors that you used to wave at, you wave at them now, they turn their head. Everybody is tense. And they're being, you know, being done like that. They're just, you know, it's, it's sad. And the way everything's turning, people used to help each other, especially if you was helping the community. People would try to help, they would donate 10, pieces of boards, fence, anything. Thank God for that pastor. Yes, thank God. Yeah, he's the one that gave us the 10 too. That's all he had. Well, he had built a garage, but that's all he had. But that right there, that will help. Them boards, I got a lot of boards over there. I got to pull the nails out of. You know, but we can use them. We'll make do when we try to, anyhow. Yeah, we'll make do and we'll try to build it right here, I guess. But this is their roost. They're feeding the poor, the needy. They're feeding, uh, they're helping people, you know, and feeds us at the same time. And they deserve better than this. Yeah. You know, it's like, uh, I don't know, pure old pets. <laughs> yeah. You used to them, don't you? Yes, you do. But yeah, anyway, everybody should help everybody. It's, it's turning everybody sour against every, everybody because it's causing depression, it's, it's causing stress, and everything like that for the people, you know, where the COVID came in and they started all these laws. Uh, you can't call your own mom, mom. Well, <laughs> they can forget that law because it's not happening here. No. My mother's my mom, man, that's, that's right. it. They done dug it past the golf. We tried to keep the poofy from getting on it. Yeah, I tried to protect the poles, but that ain't gonna happen. But yeah, everybody needs to, everybody needs to wake up. But needs to wake up and look around, see what's going on. If everybody would do it, it would be all right. But I know that when you try or anybody else tries, uh, it's just like it's harder. It's like they don't want to fix it or something. But don't let them turn you against the world. There are some good people out here. Don't let them do that. It's not right to do that. I mean, you know, they done got us so jumpy that anybody makes the wrong move around us. You know, we get up, you know, got to fix it. And everything gets out of control. Causes stress, uh, depression in the home. Causes all that. Everybody needs to wake up. More people needs to get chickens to try to help with their communities. Even though you most likely won't get much help, I got a couple of subscribers tries to help out on the chickens, but they do. Uh, yeah, other than that, you know, and that pastor of that church tried to help out with boards and stuff. But you know, we got to wake up. They're changing the world, and. It's happening and, you know, we can't stop it not unless we snap out of it. Don't let it affect us or our family or our children. All right, I'll see you on the next updates. Uh, you know, when I do my earthquake update and stuff, I just letting you know that just don't let the world change you like it's changing a lot of other people. Even in my communities, it's changing a lot of people. And it wasn't like that five, five years ago. Mm -mm. No, it wasn't like that, was it? No, it wasn't. No. It's just got a sad time. Time and like they was, and we would, we would have more than enough help on this project. Yeah, even, and if you ask for help, oh man, it's, you're making it worse, sir. Yeah. You will definitely not get no help then. No. Because we was getting a little bit of help here and there, but, you know, feed, stuff like that. Now there's only a couple of tries. The rest of those, I guess they, well, this is an earthquake channel. We don't want to see no chickens. That's it. I'm unsubscribing. I'm doing this. I'm, you know, it just, 
that don't help when that, that happens. But we are about a whole lot of stuff, about helping in several different areas. Yeah, we're trying to help in a lot of different areas, not just this. Anything that keeps the public safe or helps them in any way. And the sad part is the person tried to help you that gave you that tin, but I believe it's going to leak on them chicken's head. Yeah, it's going to leak. Not unless we come up with some tar or something. I don't know. But thank God for the boards. That's all I can say. Thank God. Well, ain't much else that we can say or, or talk about, really. I mean, we just need to ch change uh, in the best way we can and try to help others any way we can. Like the movies I made on the channel. You know, I made a, made a new channel, made movies. I needed a thousand subscribers. It didn't happen, and it'll be a long time before it does happen, but that was, that's the support for stuff like this that we do. And you know, and it's it's sad to see that the world is like that. If if they think it's going to help you, it'll not happen. So if you act like you're rich and you don't need nothing, you probably get a lot of help. I'd say you would. But we're just we actors on movies and stuff, but we don't uh, lie about things. No. Nah. Not like that. It, no sense in it. We ain't got no reason to. But y'all couldn't even get my thousand subscribers on the other one and got thousands on mine. That's ain't it. But anyway, life goes on and just try to help anybody any way you can, but don't let them overdo you either or overtake you because some people will, if you try to help them, they'll try to get you any way they can or any sad story they can. So you just got to watch and study somebody before you do try to help them. Investigate first. That's right. All right, I'll see you all in the next update. Everybody stay safe and we'll be watching.